Methane's dangerous to life in the Gulf because it's a great fuel for bacteria. When bacteria eat it, they use up all the oxygen in the water and life suffocates. One of the, one of the biggest problems in the Gulf is trying to see the dead organisms that are resulting from this spill. Some of them are going to be dying from the toxicity of the oil. Some of them are going to be dying because they're smothered. Some are going to be dying because they don't have quite enough oxygen and it's a little toxic. One thing we know is that lots of different sea creatures are dying and we may never even see them. We may never even know what, what they died from. We've never had a situation like this before. Um, bacteria can certainly break it down and they are doing that, but there's so much oil in the water, so much methane in the water, it's not clear how fast they're going to be able to process it all. Once methane bubbles up out of the water and gets into the atmosphere, it's a very, very powerful greenhouse gas. So it's actually making global warming worse. We're having tremendous amounts of methane that are being added to the atmosphere during this spill, ironically making global warming even worse um, as we're um, dealing with the spill. The main thing that I think we're all learning from this catastrophe is how little we know about such catastrophes. Every day we're learning something new. Unfortunately, almost everything that we're learning is bad.